good plan for the meeting is to not to understand anything. That's your plan, okay? <laughs> so if you tried to understand <laughs> up until now, whenever you try to understand, take it as an opportunity to rest. You know, rest like, imagine you're just basking in the sun, resting, doing nothing. That's how rest feels like. A complete rest of trying to think about or describing what's going on. I know it's different, but it's valuable. And it's, uh, it brings a an, an, uh, profound empowerment. It's something that instinctively we will understand when we don't try to understand. Okay, so should we start? <laughs> Whenever you, again, going into stories, description, oh, open intelligence is like this, like that. It looks like resting again, resting naturally. It's so immediate. It's, so, it's, so, it, it's already present. It's already present, so no need to get it. There is no destination. And I know many of us, we, we've been addicted to looking and looking and searching. And for years, we, we think maybe we did loads, loads of things. And we deserve some open intelligence or awareness degrees. Yeah, but you know, open intelligence is our basic human right. It's our power to know. How can that be something that we need to get if it's already looking through our eyes? It's already looking for our eyes. It's nothing really, um, uh, it's not a state. If you're looking for a state of mind, it's not here. <laughs> it's, it, you can't find it here. We're sorry for that. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a state of mind that we get somewhere and it feels amazing and then maybe it stays for one day, for one year, for one month, and then it's gone. No. Open intelligence is not like that if you want to know what open intelligence is. It's not a special state. Do you know what special state means? Yeah, you, I'm sure we all know. We, I mean, I know for sure special states. And it, if I look really and honestly now, when I look back, I can really say it didn't last. It didn't last. <laughs> it was like starting and nice feeling and all the time there is a tension. I want to keep it in place. I don't want it to go away. Please stay. Please stay a bit more. I want that special state of mind. It feels so good. It feels so empty. I'm, I'm so high in the sky. I'm really understanding everyone. No one understands me. I'm really, uh, look at me. Can't you see it? Can't you see I'm in, in a blissful state? I'm positive. Look, I'm positive. And I, I really know everything that kind of state of mind that just drops. It doesn't last. You cannot, and maybe you can repeat that again, but feeling very disappointed that it doesn't last. So when I came to the meetings here, that was 10 years ago in Rishikesh, wow, it was just so straightforward. Maybe it wasn't something I wanted to know because I loved my uh, states of mind. They were so special. I didn't want anyone to take it away from me. Like the state of falling in love is also a state of mind. Falling in love, I don't want it to, someone to take it. I don't want it to be ordinary. <coughs> I want it to be special or, or being positive. Oh, I'm a really positive person, so don't take it that away from me. So when I had something so straightforward, it was uh, empowering. I wouldn't say it was, uh, immediately understood, <laughs> but it was empowering. It was a new invitation, you know, something I didn't hear before. It was like, well, up until now, I really try to understand things, and now they tell me just to rest naturally. That's like too simple, you know, too simple. Let's, let's try to be more complicated, and I did. I tried to be more complicated, but then each time I came and asked questions, I suddenly recognized in myself that I'm naturally resting resting and more resting. I feel the benefit. I see the benefits in others for sure. I still have questions, but my experience is that I'm resting more. And every question gave me the opportunity to rest again. I thought I'm on something. You know, I had an amazing question, but then resting right there. 
Amazing. Wow. Really good. Resting again and again until everything is selfless and the recognition of open intelligence is naturally present. It's so completely naturally present right now. Also after the meeting. Also in your states it's present, but it doesn't need the state to be present. That's really an insight I got from this training. I don't need anything to make open intelligence present. I don't need to look in drugs, in alcohol, in relationship, in sex, in, um, in descriptions, in stories, in my past, in my future, to rest. I don't need that to, to, be, to open intelligence to be present. And that was again and again, that's the, that's the power of the invitation to come back and show up. You think maybe it's a short moment, but then it gets longer and longer until this recognition is obvious and so assured that it's, um, it, it makes life so powerful, increasingly so. So the introduction to open intelligence is to stop thinking for a moment. <laughs> and recognize what remains. Recognize what remains. <clears throat> there is clarity, the power to know, alertness, cognizance. <clears throat> this power is open intelligence, that's it. The power to know is open intelligence. And that's the, the introduction. And then immediately after, we have lots of thoughts and emotions, right? It's okay, you can let them in. We don't need to continue, stop thinking. Because these are open intelligence too. You see? It's inseparable. You cannot, you cannot take open intelligence from thoughts and emotions. Like you cannot take the blueness from the sky. Like you cannot take the breeze from the air. It's completely inseparable. It's, it's that power that knows all these descriptions, stories, sensations, people, past, present, and future. So rest right there. Instinctively rest again and again. Even if you really want to, it feels so urgent to know. If I don't know, I will die. Did you have this kind of <laughs> description? If I don't know, I will die. My life will be look so bad. I don't know. <laughs> let, let yourself not to know. Did you ever let yourself not knowing? So what? <laughs> and rest right there. And then you really know. You know what you need to know. <laughs> That's what you know. You know what you need to know. And I felt so at ease. The more I came, the more I uh, took these short moments, not thinking about the short moments, really taking short moments. However I thought short moments are, you know, even if I didn't understand, okay, maybe that's a short moment, that's a short moment. <clears throat> but each time I came back and asked a question, like, like you did, it was clarifying. I could get more clear. Ah, okay, I can rest again. Nice, feels so good, I can rest again. So that's how my experience of short moments of getting to know open intelligence and then of course doing the 12 empowerments was very clarifying because I know today you have empowerment four and five, right? You're sharing and <clears throat> sharing the principal data streams, that's, that's the empowerment of today and really admitting all of the ways that we've been refining our data streams. What does it mean? Believing that this data stream, these thoughts, emotions, sensations, they have power over us. And how exactly did they have power over us? <coughs> so the Trevor Empowerment showed me that a complete recognition of my own belief in data. The consequences of my own belief. What is the harm of this belief in data, whether they were positive data or negative data. But what is the uh, conclusion? What is the consequences, the harm of believing these data streams? So that's such a powerful um, empowerment today. And the empowerments are, you know, it's just like, it's a life-changing training. It's, uh, even if you think like you've done the 12 empowerments and 
you think nothing has changed, everything, everything changes. And I know that you all know that, but that is an assurance. There is no turning back, and that's what happened to me. The open intelligence obviousness goes more and more and more and more, and it doesn't never stop. It doesn't go back to the belief in data. And that's why we have an entire support for that. Uh, that the video today of Candice specifically speaking about the trainings, the trainer, the community, the short moments is to confirm again and again that nothing is a special state of open intelligence and that it's our natural, um, natural state. It's our natural, natural way of being, open intelligence. So powerful, so powerful. And I love this data of that, oh, I don't get that, or maybe I don't do something right, or maybe I need to do something before. What recognizes all these data streams if not open intelligence? Wow, it's also quite good to know that even this doesn't need to change. We can have the most trained lifestyle before we came to the meeting today. Maybe we did lots of meditations, lots of practices. We know what it's all about. You know, like this kind of, I know it all already. Then every, every, everyone here is completely fresh in open intelligence. Whether you've done practices or not, open intelligence equally benefits all. And that's the power. It's the power to be of benefit to all beings in whatever circumstance we are whatever data we have. Our own data, that's, our, that's the gift for us to recognize open intelligence. How to make plan without a story going. Whether the story going or not, rely on open intelligence. You know, it, you will see how, and that's what I saw from my own experience, the more I gained confidence in open intelligence, the more the plans just became effortless, based my plans on what will be of most benefit to my life. That was a key for me. Because open intelligence gives us the skillful means to know what is of most benefit. Rather than being distracted by our emotions or thoughts and feelings about our plans, we can be, be just completely clear and open moment to moment to make plans that will benefit us. And that will come about also, the skillful means will come about gradually and naturally with gaining confidence in open intelligence. So also plans are no, no effort. And it's not like we are not making plans at all. Or, or when we have a plan to make, like a flight to book, it, it, come, it just comes so effortless. And that's how this training is so amazing because life becomes such a, it's not like a thing that we need to deal with organize and always rearrange like a task you know it, it just becomes more easeful more fun and enjoyable and if changes need to make then we make them you know we might have made the plan to live tomorrow for example <laughs> and then we just see that it's actually not so beneficial for us and we want to stay just an example example <laughs> right and but I love it because it's so spontaneous. Open intelligence is responsive to what is needed and what will benefit us and all. That's, that's really amazing.